All right, so in this video, I'm going to be using a Nokia 3110 5110 LCD with an AVR AT Mega 328P. Um, when I was first trying to figure out how to use this, I found plenty of videos of people showing how to use it on an Arduino or even just give me a video of the result, but never any instructions on how to set it up. All right, let's get the screen wired up. So the setup I have here is I've got five volts and ground on these two rails. And then on the second breadboard, I've got a 3.3 volt rail and then an isolated ground. So that when the programmer puts the chip into programming mode, it disconnects that ground. So the first pin gets connected to port B6. Second goes to port B2. Third goes to port B0. Fourth goes to port B3. Five goes to Port B5, 6 is the power supply for the screen. It's going to the 3.3 volt rail. Pin number 7 is actually the ground connection for the LED. Uh, you can see it just fine on camera without the LED, so I'm not going to connect it. Normally, if you need the backlight, you would connect that to ground. And pin 8 is the ground for the screen, so I'm connecting that to the isolated rail. To set up the IDE for this library, there's a couple of steps we need to take. So one of the first things I've done is I've started a new project. Um, I've got it set up for an 18 mega 328p running at 1 megahertz. In my project folder, I've got a copy of that GLCD library. So I've got the library downloaded and in my project folder. The next step we need to take is go into our project properties. We're going to go to C, C++ General. We're going to find our paths and symbols. We're looking at the very first tab that says includes. So we want to include this library into this project. We click add, we go into our file system. There it is. Then we click apply, rebuild the index. So that is included. The next thing we need to do is if we read the documentation for this library there are a couple symbols we need to define for our compiler. Since I'm using an AVR 8-bit controller, I need to set my device as such. The Nokia screen that I'm using uses a PCD8544 controller, so we need to define that. Um, it takes the SPI interface, and specifically since I'm using an AVR, I need to pay attention to this section. I need to define these two so that the timing works with that controller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Project, back into Properties, same place I was before, uh, C, C++ General. Paths and Symbols, click on the Symbols tab. So to avoid typing errors, I'm actually just going to copy and paste right off the documentation page. I'm going to click Add. Set my AVR. Click OK. Now 
Next, I'm going to set it up for the PCD 8544. Tell it to use the SPI interface. And now our AVR timing defines. All right, so we've got those added to the symbols. Click Apply, rebuild the index. All right, so the next step after that, um, this will be specific to your setup. For mine, again, I'm using that 18 mega 328. So we need to define what pins we're using on that controller. So we're going to go to our library. We're going to go to the devices folder. We're going to find our AVR8 header file. Open that up. So the section we're looking for is right here. So all of the pins that I'm using are going to be on port B. My slave select pin is pin 2. Master out slave in is pin 3. Master in slave out is pin 4. System clock pin is 5. Slave select pin again is number 2. DC pin I have set up on pin 0. And the controller reset pin is on pin 6. So. We save all that. As far as setup goes, that's about all we need to do. So I'll be back with some demo code to show off just a few of the things this library can do, and we'll take a look at it on the screen. All right, so I'm back. This is nothing too fancy. Just shows off a few of the things that I found digging through the H files in the library. So let's save everything and build it. Something I do want to point out before I go to upload this, as is, this library makes some pretty big files. This is almost 13 kilobytes. It won't fit on AT Tinies, it's not going to fit on AT Mega 8. Uh, I'm sure you can go through and thin this out a little bit to fit your needs, but as is, you're going to need something with a little bit more memory. So that's built. Let's set my programmer. and upload it. There it is, it works. Again, nothing too flashy. Just a quick demo showing off a few things it can do. There is a lot that this library can do. I didn't even scratch the surface. So if you do decide to use it, dig around through the H files, look at the different demos included. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.